Preface of Heart of Spring by Shaw Nielsen This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by K. Williams John Shaw Nielsen was born at Panola, South Australia, on 22nd February 1872. By race, he is all Scottish. His grandparents were William Nielsen and Jessie McFarlane of Cooper, Neil McKinnon of Skye and Margaret Stewart of Greenock. His father was a farmer and contractor who removed to Victoria when Nielsen was nine years of age. The boy had little schooling and early went to work in the hard way of the bush. In that way, he has remained. His poems were long meditated and slowly brought to utterance. His equipment was a few books well conned, the strong blood of his race and the high heart of his ancestry. Though his work is fully modern, it affirms the Celt. But in Nielsen the mystery is made lucid. He does not gather flowers of fairy. He preserves the odour of blossoms perished long ago, without the circumstance he transmutes the Celtic essence. John Nielsen, his father, also wrote and published verses, and some of them, like the following, have a rare value. The last time. It is the last time, darling. We shall meet and we must breathe a long, alas, the dew. Your eyes will follow, love. To watch my ship grow dim and lessen in the distant blue When outward bound for yonder distant clime While murmuring through your tears For the last time Yet other lips and ours have said goodbye With hearts unmoved and careless Turned away And knew not they were parting for all time While flowers were blooming and the birds were gay There was no bell to toll with mournful chime They parted And knew not was the last time. And other eyes than ours, my love, shall see the white moon wither in the western sky, and other eyes than ours shall look their last across the waves to see the red sun die, while, like some half-forgotten childhood's rhyme, they speak the words we speak for the last time. The goodly ships lie broken at the haven, Fair tresses float upon the heaving tide, and riderless the steed comes home at even. The unseen shadow follows by our side, follows through winter's chill and summer's prime until we say goodbye for the last time. But we shall meet again. Love cannot die. An infinite soul with soul shall blend in other worlds, be the time far or nigh. Surely this little life is not the end. And tears will fall in heavenly spheres sublime And sighing sorrow weep For the last time Shaw Nielsen repeats this simplicity This emotion With a richer imagination And more skilful workmanship Remarkable are the melody of his verse The ease and strength of his rhythms His mastery of time and cadence His intuitive sense of words Lines such as and all the sighing bloom that takes the dew have the touch of Shakespeare. The pure depth of his feeling recalls Blake. His verses come like Blake's children, with innocent faces clean. To these gifts are added visions of fancy, sympathy with humanity and the passion of a man. Some of his work, magnificent and pathos perfectly expressed, is unsurpassed in the range of English lyrics. First of Australian poets, he reflects lasting honour on the land that bred him. End of preface. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain.